obviously the multiple of 2 and 5, this, yes, perfect. So this requires a 5, and this requires a negative 2. Let's analyze the other one. If we decide to eliminate y, obviously I have to multiply the top by, very good, and the bottom by <coughs> 3. So if you would like to consider not multiplying by a negative number, you would choose to eliminate u1. If you don't mind multiplying both sides by a negative number, then you can choose or eliminate x. You choose. You tell me what you want. We want to eliminate x or y. It doesn't matter. The solution will be the same. Why? Yes? Yeah. Very good. Awesome. So then multiply by 10. 20x plus 30y equals negative 160. And then 15x obviously minus 30y equals 90. And yes, we accomplished what we wanted. We wanted to eliminate y, and we're almost there. I mean, we already did, so we are ready to solve for x now. So this is 35x equals negative 70. Therefore, x equals negative. Good. Perfect. So is this good? Yes. But I have to go back and check and um, replace x and find y. So that will be negative 10 minus 10y equals 30. <coughs> So what do I get now? So it's negative 10y equals 40. So y equals? Perfect. So the solution appears, I don't know yet. I haven't checked. The solution appears to be? Awesome. Great. So good job. So let's go back and check. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4. So negative 4 minus 12, yes. Uh, negative 10, but plus 40. Yes. So now I can say yes. Indeed, negative 2 comma negative 6 is the correct solution. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Still, we are still talking about two variables. Still two variables. So 5.4 but systems of nonlinear equations. Systems of nonlinear equations in two variables. Yes, please. Um, so what if um, when you check the solution and if there's not? Correct. So you have to, I recommend you raise everything. Or take another piece of paper and start from scratch. So, so it should have to equal. If it has solutions. So there are three possibilities. Mm -hmm. One possible solution when they cross in one point, no solutions or infinite. So if you know that you completed all steps correctly, you get have to get the solution. You have to get the left hand side equal to right hand side. If you got to this point and you did not make any mistake, then negative 2 comma negative 4 must check both both equations. But if they don't, would that mean there's no solution? No. Very good question. So if you get the if you get if you do not get an answer at all, but you get negative 3 equals 4, then you say no solutions. You are not going to get a, 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 a an ordered pair. If you get an ordered pair and you did not make mistakes, that ordered pair must check both equations. If you get something like this, then you will have to say no solutions. If you get something like this, then you will have to say infinitely many solutions. It's a very good question, actually. Thank you. So systems of nonlinear equations in two variables. So we still have two equations. We still have two variables. But the equations will not be linear. Ready? And we have the same methods, substitution and elimination. So let's start. Uh, let's start with number 8. x squared plus y squared equals 5. And 3x minus y equals 5. It's a page number. Uh, page, uh, sorry about that, 587. 587. 
So what type of equation is the first one? Is it linear? It has x squared and y squared. No, it cannot be linear. Perfect. What about the second? Say it again. Quadratic, but actually it's a circle. If you remember, x squared plus y squared equals 5. The origin is 0, 0, and the radius is the square root of 5. Okay, so it's, uh, it's quadratic, but actually it's not even a function. But what about the second one? Is the second one a line? Yes, yes indeed. Power 1, awesome. So we are asked to use substitution. What will you substitute for? The only one. Yes, yes. Y indeed. So I will say y equals 3x minus 5. What do I do next? Like we always did in substitution, we went back to the other equation. And can anyone dictate the new equation that we have to solve? X squared indeed. Yes. Yes. Very good. Awesome. Good. So how many um, terms will you give when you square 3x minus 5? And please, I'm begging you not to say 2. This was the first handout on August the 27th or the 29th that we worked on. Please, please don't say 2. Three terms. A binomial squared is three terms. Please. That's why we did it the first day of classes, so I don't have to go back to it ever again. Yes. How many times did it appear? Every class. Almost every class, right? So x squared is x squared plus, please give me three terms. So it's 9x squared minus 2 times the first times the second. Yes, 30x, I agree, plus awesome. Minus 5 equals 0. Yes. Good. So now what type of equation is this? Quadratic indeed. That's why I moved everything to one side. I have to combine like terms and then see what happens. So we have 10x squared minus 30x plus 20 equals 0. And by now, you do know me a little bit. And you will tell me what I would do. Not yet. It's not simplified. It's not cleaned up. I want to make it as easy as possible. Right? That's always the key. Simplify. Can I? By 10. So this is x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Would you prefer factoring 10x squared minus 30x plus 20? Or is it easier to factor x squared minus 3x plus 2? So let's factor. And when we factor this, we get... So... Yes? Yes? But if it's plus, negative 1 times plus, plus 3 is not 2. Minus 2 indeed. Awesome. So then x equals and x equals. The first one is x equals. Very good. The second one is 2. Is this enough? It's good, but it's not enough. Because I have to find the corresponding y values for both. So let's plug it in. When I plug in 1, what do I get for y? Very good. Awesome. Now I plug in 2. Very good. Awesome. So it appears that this system has two ordered pairs as solutions. So what is the first one? Very good. And the second one? Very good. And yes, I always, always beg you to, get, to, to go back and check. Make sure. 1, negative 2. 1 plus 4 is 5 indeed. And then 1, negative 2. So it's four, 3 plus 2 is 5. And the second one will work as well. So this happens because this is not linear. So there is more than one solution in this case. So this was substitution. Same type of problem, but this time with elimination. Let's try. 
uh, let's say uh, 2019. Same page, 587. x squared plus y squared equals 13. And x squared minus y squared equals 5. Question, could I have uh, applied uh, elimination here? The answer is no, because the variables are not the same. This one has x squared and this one has x. I cannot cancel them, right, or eliminate. But here I can. I can use substitution because both have the same variables, x squared, x squared, y squared, y squared. So let's use, um, uh, not substitution, I meant elimination. So is this easy? Yes. Here's why. Because I had y squared and negative y squared, when I add them, I'm, I'm done. So then x squared plus x squared is two apples and equals 18. So therefore, x squared equals perfect. We have four methods of solving this and one exactly awesome. Well done. How many solutions do I have to write? Because if I forget, then I'm in trouble. Two. Exactly. So plus or minus three. Is this enough? No. It's good, but it's not good enough. Why? Because I have to replace x squared in the first equation or the second equation. It doesn't matter. By, by nine. x squared by nine. Correct? So then I have nine plus y squared equals 13. So how much is y squared? 9 plus which number is 13? y squared equals 4. Good. Again, how do I solve this? Exactly. Awesome. It's so handy now, right? So now I have to be careful. So let's talk about this. When x is 3, we get two options for y. When x is negative 3, we get two options for y. So then how many ordered pairs will you consider solutions of this nonlinear system? Yes, or four. Yes. So 3 with 2. two. Also 3 with? Awesome. But now negative 3 with? Very good. And negative 3 with? That's it. Please go back and check. They have to work once we get solutions. I would like to look at a word problem. Any questions? Yes, please. Uh, this one? Yeah. Yes, yes, I have to divide by 2 and take the square root. I still have to simplify by 2 first. And then you can you can write y x squared minus 9 equals 0. But you still have to divide by 2 first. So then you have x squared minus 9 equals 0, and you, then you have to factor as we factored on the first day of classes in the handout. x plus 3 times x minus 3, and you get this. So yes, there are more. There is more than one correct uh, route or method, but the solutions will be the same no matter what. Does that answer your question? Is that what you meant? Okay. Yes. Joseph. Uh, how yes. When x is three, we get two options for y. When x is negative three, we get two options for y. Better? Yes, yes, we have four options here. Okay, so let's look at a word problem. We want to look at uh, numbers, we want to look at uh, rectangles. Would you say numbers or rectangles? Yes. Rectangles. Rectangles, perfect. So 57 on page 588. Find the length and the width of a rectangle. So here it is. Length and width. Uh, whose perimeter is 36 feet. Uh, and whose area is 77 
square feet. So, can anyone give us the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle? Now you can say, I don't want the L and W. I don't either, if, you, if that's what you say. I would prefer X and Y. Easier to write. It doesn't matter, really. Use any notation you like. Is it perimeter? Yes. 2X plus 2Y. Awesome. And of course, I'll divide it immediately by 2. I'll see which one I need, depending on the second one, but I prefer the easy one, x plus y equals 18. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. So now I need to write the area for the same thing. So can anyone give us the area? Very good. Equals 77. So here it is. Our system x plus y equals 18 and xy equals 77. Now which method is applicable and which method is not applicable? Of course, because the variables are not the same. One of them is a product and the other one is a sum. Awesome, well done. So the only option I have then is the first one which is Substitution. It doesn't matter which one you want to substitute for because both x and y have coefficient 1. You choose. Which one? The first one. First one. So x equals negative y plus 18. Then I take this and replace x by it. Because x or negative y plus 18 is the same thing, so then I have to put in the second equation. So y multiplied by negative y plus 18 equals 77. Although these problems, I hope you agree, they're easier than exponential equations and log equations. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. So they still require some work. They still require some practice. So don't say, OK, we did these five problems in class. Now I know it. It's not going to be enough. You still need to practice. OK, so then what would you do? Very good. Awesome. Minus 77 equals 0, of course. Awesome. So there is one thing you know about me already that what I'm going to do. Right. Because if I use the Corati formula, I don't need to mess with a negative leading coefficient. If I factor, I don't want to have a negative leading coefficient. If factoring takes more than 15 to 20 seconds, forget it. Use the Karati formula. You don't have to. No one tells you what to do now. If it's, it's, it's taking too long. Okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 77 is not a difficult number to work with. It's just 7 times 11. There is nothing else. And that should do it because the, the sum is negative 18. So then, how do we factor this? Y minus 7. Yes. And y minus 11. That's it. Because 77 is kind of a friendly number. It's big, but it's kind of a friendly when it comes to factoring it. So then we have two options, S11 and 7. But this is not good enough. I need to determine the corresponding x values. So I go back and replace y and get x. I go back and replace y to get x. So when y is 11, how much is x? And when y is 7, how much is x? Yes? So when y is 11, x is good. And when y is 7, x is? That's it. So it's 7, 11, or 11, 7. Very good. Any questions? Any questions? OK, the last section, there are only three sections from chapter 5. The last section is also known. We're going to review it. So this is 5.5. .5. We're going to do the whole thing. Solving or systems of linear and nonlinear 
inequalities. Again, this is coming from back from the past. You will, you will recognize it in a minute. After the first example, you'll say, oh, yes, I know. However, one piece of this is new. Not everything here is known. But I'm going to start with an example that you will easily recognize. OK, on page 600, uh, let's start with 30. 30 on page 600. 2x minus y less than or equal to 4, and 3x plus 2y greater than negative 6. OK, this is a system, all right, but not of two equations, but a system of perfect, two inequalities. So here's the first step. I will have to replace this, just for a short amount of time, by the equation, by the corresponding equation. You can say, are you changing the problem? No. I'm not changing the problem, but I have to graph this first before I solve that. I need two ordered pairs. When x is 0, how much is y? Very good, because there is a negative in front. So 0, negative 4. Now when y is 0, x is very good. So 2, comma 0. That was the only reason why I wrote the corresponding equation, just to find these two ordered pairs, nothing else. For no other reason, I'm not changing the problem. I am going to plot 0, negative 4. And I'm going to plot 2, comma 0. And then I'm going to stop. And I am going to look at the inequality symbol. Let's take a look. Does the inequality symbol have the equal symbol? Yes. Because it does, I would graph a solid line through the two points, extending it. And somewhere close to it, I will write 2x minus y equals 4. I did not graph the inequality. I only graphed the equation. So that's, that's why I wrote 2x minus y equals 4. Now, I hope you see that this line divides the plane into two regions, one to the right and one to the left. I'm going to pick this point. I'm going to check this area. I'm going to pick this point because it's the easiest to work with. 0, 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 4? If you say yes, I will shade in this area. If you, if you say this is false, I will shade in the opposite. Yes, because this is true, correct? 0 is less than or equal to 4. So then this is indeed the inequality. The entire area is the inequality, the solutions for this inequality are found in that region. So please do not write on the equation, on the line, do not write less than or equal to 4. It's not the case. I will repeat the same steps for 3x plus 2y equals negative 6 and find the two or the pairs like we did before. So. 2x minus y, I'm sorry, I was copying the same thing, so forgive me. 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. I need two ordered pairs. So Yes, when x is 0, how much is y? Very good. x equals 0, y equals negative 3, so 0, negative 3. When y is 0, x is? Yes? That's OK. So then negative 2, comma 0. I go back to the, to the graph, and I plot 0, negative 3, 0 for x, 
negative 3 for y. And then 2, negative 2 for x, 0 for y. I have to stop before I connect and extend. Is there the equal symbol? Does this inequality have the equal symbol? Yes. No. So this line will not be a solid line, meaning points on it will not be part of the solution. I write myself a note. I graph 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. I see that this line divides the plane into two regions, this and this. I'm checking the origin, 0, 0. Is 0 a number greater than negative 6? If you say yes, I will shade in this. If you say no, I will shade in the opposite. Is 0 a number greater than negative 6? Yes. Indeed it is. So then this is 3x plus 2y greater than negative 6. Because we want both inequalities to be true at the same time, we have to look for the region that has blue and red at the same time. Is there a region on the plane that has both blue and red? Yes. Yes. That's where I have to shade in. Points on this line, yes. Points on this line, no. Very, very close, but not points on that line. So all this area represents both at the same time. And this is the only way of presenting a solution of a system of inequalities yeah. by graphing the solution. So if you pick ordered pairs here, only the first one is true. If you pick ordered pairs here, only the second one is true. If you pick here, how many are true? None. If you pick here, how many are true? Exactly that's what we want. Both conditions are fulfilled at the same time. I know you remember this. So yes. is our answer just... That's it. Just the graph. Just the graph. Yes, there is no other way. Sure. Yes. So we have time for another. But this time, let's look at one that is nonlinear. This was linear. Both of them were lines. So let's look at... Um, yes, let's try 50 on page 600 x squared plus y squared greater than 1, and x squared plus y squared less than 9. So after this, we only have two sections left, which is 6.1 and 8.1. And then we can start reviewing everything. OK. Like before, I have to write x squared plus y squared equals 1. Not because I'm changing the problem, but because I have to graph this equation. Now, what does this represent? We've done this before, and it was at the end of chapter 2. And let me refresh your memory on the formula. What does this mean? A circle. Perfect. But since I'm not subtracting anything from x and y, what will be the central then? If I'm not, I'm not subtracting anything, if I, if I subtract 1, it should be 1. Good. And what is the radius? 1. Perfect. Let's graph it. A, a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 1. I have to stop. Is this a solid curve? Because I can say a function. Is it a solid curve? The answer is no, because there is no equal symbol. Correct? No equal symbol. It's not. So then this, the equation of that is x squared plus y squared equals 1. I have not solved the inequality yet. OK. I see now that this circle divides the entire plane into two regions. This region inside the circle and this region outside the circle. Of course, I'm going to pick 0, 0 and plug it in. 0, 0 is 0 greater than 1 
If you say yes, I will shade in inside because I checked with a point from the inside. If you say no, I will shade in the outside. Yeah. It's no. So I have to shade in the outside. This is x squared plus y squared greater than 1. Now let's repeat for the second one. Obviously, the second one is x squared plus y squared equals 9. So what does that mean? By comparison, this is also a circle. Very good. And the origin. Of course, thank you very much. And the radius, very good. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Stop. I graph a solid curve or not? No. Very good. This, just this is the x squared plus y squared equals 9. It divides the entire plane into regions, the inside and the outside. I will check with the origin, 0, 0. Is 0 less than 9? If you say yes, I will shade in inside. If you say no, I will shade in outside. It's a yes. This, the green region is x squared plus y squared equals 9. Now I have to find the intersection of these two, the red and the green. If they overlap, then there is a solution. If they don't overlap, there is no solution. Do they overlap? Yes, right here, like a donut. Not points on this circle, not points on this circle. So what is this? The blue region. Both. Yes.